Hello everyone, I am Anbu Varadhan, President of UFI. I am pleased to introduce UFI's Global Policy Edition series. In these sessions, you will hear directly from leaders and senior officials from economic, trade and tourism ministries and departments all around the world. The leaders would focus on the economic vision for their country and the role the exhibitions and business events play in driving the economy, both to build back better and to support a resilient and sustainable future. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Global Policy Leadership Series. A number of conversations we are holding at UFI with representatives of national governments about the impact of exhibitions and business events for the economic recovery and economic development as such. Today, I have the great honor to be connected with Rita Marquez, the Secretary of State for Tourism in Portugal. And as Portugal currently holds the presidency of the European Union, she arguably speaks on behalf of the whole European Union block of 27 countries. Rita, we last spoke a few months ago at Web Summit. Great to be connected to you again. My pleasure. Yeah. You've seen so much movement in these six months uh, with the vaccinations proceeding and the European Union agreeing on, on the approach for reopening of business travel, of tourism, of the economies. Yes. Yeah, we, we worked very hard, but at the end of the day, uh, I guess that we are very satisfied, very happy with results attained so far. We pushed very hard for the Digital Green Pass. Now it has a new name, the COVID um, passport or COVID certificate. Um, I think it's, it's all good news because we really need to harmonize as much as possible rules in Europe. We, we cannot have the same mistakes we, we, we had last year. So, uh, yeah, huge effort from the Portuguese presidency, but fortunately, I, I guess that we, we are very, uh, very honored and very proud of what we have achieved so far. And I honestly, I can't wait to have this digital certificate. Um, I'm walking away around with my yellow WHO vaccination document and uh, having that digital will make things easier. Uh, let, let's talk about the economic recovery that, that will follow once we have the vaccinations out. So what are your expectations currently? Uh, over the summer and afterwards, and uh, how will tourism and business travel open up again across Europe? Well, um, well, we, we are optimistic, although we are, of course, very realistic. We know that last year was, was really a nightmare. We 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 uh, we lost more than sixty percent of our tourist receipts, so it was uh, the turnover went, you know, fault in a very average, in a very rapid way. Um, but as, as I was saying, uh, this year it seems that we, we do have better expectations. As we resume traveling across Europe, we have good, uh, we are in a good position to, to foster tourism again. And in Portugal, we do have a very specific situation because we have been tackling the pandemic in a very, in a very um, positive way. Um, we have now the lowest rates in Europe as far as the infection is concerned. And, and so um, we, we had a very severe lockdown process. Yes, it's true. But we have been opening up everything as from May the 1st. So um, the numbers will be up again, hopefully. Not the ones that we have in 2019, but still I'm, I'm optimistic about uh, this, uh, this uh, new year and, of course, the next year, of course. So as, as that's, that's wonderful to hear, and as restrictions come down and, and borders open up again and travel commences, uh, that's great for tourism, it's great for business events, it's great for the economic recovery as well, I expect. So what is the expectation in, in Portugal when it comes to the general recovery of the economy? Yeah, as you said, it's, it's, uh, it's positive for the business, but it's also positive for all of us, individuals, society, because we do need to breathe again and travel again and meet other people again. And um, concerning the, the numbers, I would say that we, our plan, we just presented, by the way, last Friday, the recovery plan specific to the tourism sector. And of course, it covers the events industry. And so we, we need to target the 27 uh, billion euro 
tourism receipts by 2027. And, um, and uh, next year, we, we will um, increase by, by, um, by 20, 30% what we had last year. Um, so expectations are quite um, realistic. But still, I think we are flipping the page. We, we are flipping the page. And so I, uh, we are very um, determined to, to tackle again the, the tourism industry and contribute towards a, a, a more, um, you know, the business events industry to a more active industry that in this new, uh, the, the new era post pandemic. That's, that's encouraging to hear because whenever we as UFI uh, talk to regional, national, international governments, about the role of business events and exhibitions in the economic recovery, the marketplaces, the meeting places that we build and provide for industries. Uh, we sometimes find this is a thought that is more of an afterthought for governments. So um, how do you in Portugal see the role of exhibitions and business events in the recovery? It's huge. It, it can have a huge, huge contribution. We cannot jeopardize that, that huge potential. We do have some good examples in the past. So when we met last time, uh, I talked about the Expo 98. So th this was a huge event here in Portugal and completely changed the image of the city of Lisbon. We also have Web Summit that uh, is helping a lot Portugal to position itself as an international hub for startups and, and the, the, new, the new companies. And, um, and so we do have a huge experience in, in the exhibition business events. And because we do have that experience, we know about the, we know the contribution that this industry can give to, uh, to, uh, to the tourism industry uh, as a whole. Um, and so I absolutely agree with you. I guess that, um, I have no doubt in telling, you know, in sharing to everyone that business events industry has a huge play, a huge role, a huge role to play in the in the recovery of the tourism sector. Well, and as as you mentioned, uh, the Expo nineteen ninety eight. I remember having been to Lisbon, I think four years back, uh, in in exactly that part of town. And um, my colleagues from from the venue gave me a tour and said, you know, how this district, how this part of Lisbon looks now. It's really the legacy of this this event, and this has really changed the city for the better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a it's a kind of a pre pre Expo ninety nine in ninety eight and the post Expo ninety eight. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mentioned Web Summit because that's an interesting example for an impact an event has not only on the above the surface level of, of people that come and experience Lisbon and stay in town and, and experience the hospitality and the, the sounds and sights of the city. But also it has an impact on the development of the city, on, on education, on fo focus of societies, new industries coming there. So I know that you, by, by attracting Web Summit to, to Portugal, to Lisbon, you were banking on that to happen. Uh, to what degree has it come true yet? And, and what are your plans uh, for the next years to activate the connections that come out of hosting such an event regularly? Well, we have been hosting Web Summit for a couple of years now. And because of that, in fact, Lisbon is ranked second in the top cities to hold international meetings. And this was, um, in fact, recognized back in 2019. And, and I guess all these major events like Web Summit and many others that we do have here in Portugal help to recognize the contribution of this event. And there's an extra with Web Summit because Web Summit, and you said already, you mentioned it already, works with startups. So, and all the contribution that these companies may give us concerning the new trends in the event industry is huge. So we know that in this era of post-COVID, the mix of online, in-person, um, will bring, will bring a lot of disruption in terms of the model of holding events. And I guess that Web Summit could also give a, a hint, a kind of a, a, could give us the means to be in a better position uh, in an international competition arena. So, um, yeah, definitely the, we will continue to host Web Summit for a couple of years, I hope, and it will help us to, to position or to, to foster, you know, our, our, uh, foster our position internationally in the in international city setting as far as uh, in this industry of events is concerned. So there we have a positive example of a collaboration between an event organizer and a government, essentially. So an industry and a government to work together to, to boost the sector, to boost the economy. Uh, what other ways?
can you imagine for that to happen? Because, I mean, you are the government, we are the industry, and we both want to make things better for people. So um, what else can we do? Well, um, first of all, let me just tell you that we have been working a lot during this couple of months with the industry because we need to adjust safe measures. We need to, uh, to adjust all the protocols that we have in place and have to be you know, changed in order to better um, manage this, all, uh, this, this, this situation that we are living in. And, and so this is a real example where this industry and government can really have a cooperation to boost the cooperation in order to, to present um, better, better solutions to, to all of us that would like very much to attend events. But this is the short-term objective. We have to have a vision for, for the industry. In that sense, basically, what we have done here in Portugal is we, we do have a fund, basically, that tries to promote these events, to finance these events. And, um, and the, the idea here is, of course, the government to work with the private sector in order to identify which, which are the topics that need to be nurtured and worked uh, in order to project our image across Europe, across the world. And, um, and of course, we are available to finance and to fund these, these, these events, working with all the, the suppliers, develop joint, developing joint activities, um, destination branding campaigns, um, and also, it's, it's, we have a priority that I would like very much to highlight. We need to ensure that 100% of the events we host here in Portugal are sustained, sustainable. And, and this, I guess that your, your input on this, the private input on this, you know, to guarantee that we do have sustainable events, guaranteeing that we have a stronger positive impact of the event in the local economy, needs to be worked with, with you, with the private sector, um, completely aligned with the, with the major or public priorities such as the one that I just mentioned. That's, that's such an important point and I know that uh, across the, the exhibition industry lots of sustainability initiatives are, are underway to reduce the carbon footprint. Now, obviously every major event brings uh, a local impact on the environment but at the same time the benefit of it is so much bigger than if everybody would roam around the world to meet everyone without just coming together in Lisbon or Portugal, or elsewhere. I, I guess most of the meetings you were able to participate in person in the last weeks or months have been government meetings or, or related to, to bringing the industry back after the pandemic. Well, what is the one event uh, that you are personally and professionally looking forward to to attend again as soon as possible internationally? Wow, I, I do have so many. I just, you know what, I just, um, I just came from an event, a face-to-face -face event, we were presenting an initiative that was uh, will be hosted here in Portugal in July called the Explorers Event. We invited a couple of NASA astronauts and people that are experts in, in the oceans and, uh, you know, scientific people that can, you know, uh, disclosure a lot of uh, good inputs for us to preserve the planet. So I guess that I will be eager to travel to Azores. Uh, in a couple of weeks to learn with these all um, excellent guys, ladies, gentlemen, that will be able to 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 uh, to share their thoughts, and uh, I will be eager to learn with them to preserve the planet in order for us to have a better tourism industry. That sounds like a great event you have coming up there, and uh, all the best for 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 that. And um, I wish you many good face-to-face -face meetings and conversations. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you so much. We will be showing you these sessions throughout the year and from countries around the globe to showcase the true global picture of our dynamic, wide-ranging and multifaceted industry. I hope you enjoy this discussion.